When I first found out I was pregnant, my kids' dad's family, they were gonna be there for me 100%, and they were gonna give me everything I needed. And so I kind of had this like false sense of reality that everything was just gonna be taken care of and I wouldn't actually have to, you know, do it myself and I wouldn't actually have to, you know, go through the process, you know, worrying about, you know, mortgages and worrying about diapers and clothes and things that most people who have kids worry about. But I thought to myself, if you ever need a certain amount of money, tell me and I'll give it to you. And that's kind of how, you know, we worked before we were on child support. When she told me, hey, you know, we gotta go to court and do this, and I'm like, oh, this is not gonna be a good thing. I never thought about child support as being, you know, helpful. And now I know, you know, that it's really supposed to be for the child, to help the child, to help the other parent if you're single, to, you know, make ends meet. We had had an agreement, um, since Cameron was born, his agreement was $100 a week, so $400 a month. I was fine with the $400 a month. At some point, um, Carl decided that he didn't think that the $400 was right, and we just had some disagreements, and so I found out you know, everything about the acknowledgement of paternity. I found out about child support um, and things like that, and so I said, you know, just to protect both of us, I think it's best that we both go in and we'll get everything established and signed, and, and that'll be it. It'll protect you so I can't go back on you, and it'll protect me so that I'm actually getting money. Hearing other people's stories of how it's benefited them, I realized that there has to be something in place. I could talk about it, but I kind of hate it. He usually doesn't have a job. He owes me over $15,000 in back pay. Like, I don't think I'm ever gonna get that money. 